YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I am here with the man, the myth, the legend, the code. I've arrived. Now, I thought we would give you this video because we want to share our feelings about the show. We know what the show is. Yeah, we know what it was. The show. Game, it was. Game of Thrones. Bro. It was. Yeah. It's Game of Thrones. The show that we've been watching for years. The show that has eight seasons in the fold. Uh, episode six, the finale, is Sunday. Today is Wednesday. So it's a good four days before episode, the finale hits. Six. Episode eight. Six. There's only six episodes. Season eight. No, you said episode... I said season eight, episode six. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Season eight, episode six is Sunday. We're four days away from that. And we thought this would be a good time to really just talk to you guys and just tell you guys how we feel. Not only just how we feel, but what we kind of expect as well with the show. Now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I love Game of Thrones. Oh, I love it too, man. Come on. One of the greatest shows of all time, man. If I, not the GOAT. I'm still going to give it the GOAT, but You're still giving it the GOAT. Until something else follow through on where it failed. You know, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something um, else got to be this good and then not fail. This is like a celebration. Yeah, I remember season one, man. When when you the code you put me on this show, yeah, man. I yeah. gotta thank you for that, bro. Yeah. For the writing, man. I know you like good writing. Yeah, you we enjoy good storytelling. You so. introduced me to this yeah. fantastic show, and for that, I thank you. They let me down now. <laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> season one. Let's talk about notable things in season one. Seeing all the Starks. Ned Stark, Sir Eddard Stark of the North, man, King Robert Baratheon. How how far have my love for Ned came, and and turned into something weird? In such a short time. Because too. because I, I fell in love with Ned season one because mm. of what he represented, the writing, how they how they they they, they pitched certain things in his in his uh, uh in path, his path and the way he dealt with it, despite yeah. how terrible and and hard it was for him, the way yeah. he dealt with it. His honor, that type of stuff. You know, the, the same reason you like Brienne and stuff like that. But it wasn't just the the the, the actions. It was how they played out. You know? You get mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The writing. It's the writing. Yeah. It's the just character how it played out. The character-driven stories. Right. right. It just It's the little things. You look, Season one, it's the little things. Like, remember when they first found the wolves? Yeah. And then John was like the bastard. And then he got the last wolf and like, you got the runt of the litter. And he's the bastard. It's just those little things lend so much, you know, to the character yeah. back then, you know. So I think about when Ned was took into King's Landing for the first time, and uh, the man came up to him. Yeah, the king will have will have you. He just got there. He says, "Would you like to j change into something else?" Ned's just looking at him. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and then he found out the the, the crown is bankrupt. Yeah. How can Robert let this happen? Right, right. There will be no tournament in my name. <laughs> Him laying down the law. Right, right. They and then he, and then he realized, he was like, they don't have and shit. Exactly. And then he realized he was a douche. He was like, I'm sorry, my lords. It's been a long trip. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's Just trying to clean shit up. Trying to clean up that mess, man. So, character highlight highlight of that season, Ned Stark. Right. Ned Stark. But everybody, Robert Baratheon. everybody was introduced in such a way, and then they just kept building on it. Yeah. You know? Because when, whenever you met somebody, you're like, you had you had an idea of them based on how they were portrayed to you. So you were like, you know, Ned. All right, I, I feel you, honorable man. Good old Ned. Uh, uh, his wife, Catelyn. You're like the way they the way the way they kept making her looking at John like the bastard. Like, mm, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I'll put up with this, but yeah. I don't accept you. Yeah, you know, little things like that, building character, man. Yeah, I love that. So season one was fantastic, man. Yeah, of course, that's what gets you in. As soon then, as you start watching, and it also you makes in. you want to quit because Ned died. It does. It does. Ned died. Does. You almost quit. Yeah, I almost quit, but but it was tasteful and understandable. Ugh. So so you didn't want to quit. You were like, "Where do I go from here?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was so good, like, yeah. I let me see, let me see. Yeah, I never felt like I wanted to quit after Ned died. I was just like, "Wow, what's next?" Right, right. Different, different, uh, different, different, different people have their different. But yeah, that's the only thing I was thinking about. But I was, I came from, I came from other shows where it was like. They the other stories they set it up where this is the character, and once you you know I, I don't really like to hate on superhero uh, stuff, but once you're like for, I always put it this way: if you're watching something like Spider Man and you're introduced to Peter Parker and Sp he becomes Spider Man, you have it in your mind that whatever confrontation happens, you're there with Peter until the end. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's no way Spider Man this this the show is called Spider Man. <coughs> it's about Peter Parker. It's about Spider Man. There's no way he dies in the first right. two minutes. 
And, you know, yeah, yeah. so when they did the show, it's it's my fault. I had preconceived notions about Ned. Like, they build up Ned. I'm like, Ned's the guy. Mm-hmm. This is the guy. They're, they're, they're pushing mm-hmm. me towards this guy. Mm-hmm. He's going to go through trials and tribulations, and but he's going to go through it. They killed him. Yeah, and then Gaga. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I came in. I came in on it. I came in on it where I had, like, four seasons stockpiled. Yeah. I wasn't like, you know, got to wait. Yeah. So then it was like, wait, there's more seasons. But that was the guy. Yeah. I had that in my mind. Right, right, so that's right. why I was wrecked. Like, huh? Who? Why? Whoa. What do I do now? And we brilliant. still watched the show, though. It was brilliant, we though. We still watched it. Yeah, it was brilliant. We got introduced to Khaleesi for the first time. Khaleesi and oh, Jorah. Man. Jorah's on his mission to spy on her. Yeah. She doesn't know yeah. it. He just wanted to return home to Westeros. Khaleesi being literally sold off and sold off to slavery and raped and right, right. pillaged to Dothraki, the Khal Drogo, and her mean brother. He got his freaking hat head melted. Season one was epic. Yeah. Season two comes, and then we have the rise of Rob Stark. Rob Stark going to go down there to King's Landing and try to fight his fa- for his father's freedom, the young wolf. Well... That not his father's him. freedom. Well, he was already riding for his father's freedom in right. season one. He already died in season one. But it's, it's continuing. The young wolf right, continuing right, right. against the Lannisters. Tywin Lannister coming down and have fighting him off. You know what I'm saying? The young wolf being 2-0 and in battle. Right. Showing it, showing him in the north. The king in the north. I think that moment came in season two. Right. They, it, they, were, they were championing him mm-hmm. because of who he, his dad was. And they were, you know, they're Starks. Yeah. You know, wardens of the north and all that. We got we got introduced to the Boltons, other northern houses, the the the, right, uh, right. the Boltons, the Umbers, the Carstocks. Where people where people uh, 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 allegiance was and all that stuff. How structured it was. The it north. was beautiful. Ned had that thing clean, bro. It was beautiful amongst the chaos and and politics. There were background politics uh, mm-hmm. playing, and mm-hmm. then people would say things that were. You, you caught on to it what they mm-hmm. when they say things, but then I remember watching for the first time. I, I remember uh, I, I told you about this. I'm like, when you watch it, there's stuff you miss because you, you're new to the world. Yeah. But then when you go back, you're like, ah, it gets even better because now you know what they were talking about. You yeah. know the characters. You know what they mean. Yes. That shit was dope. Game of Thrones, you have done amazing things for us, man. Shit. Season two was fantastic. Season Raise three. Raise the bar, baby. Season three, Red Wedding. Raise the Another bar. shock and awe moment. Right. Rob Who's Stark Rob marries the pretty chick with a tight clunt. <laughs> uh, look, let me get the look of you. I bet you take that dress off. Everything stays right where it is. Freaking fray, <laughs> bruh. That was epic. Catelyn's death and, and the, the Lannisters winning and, and seeing the shift tide and Marjorie Renly Baratheon coming up to his rise in power. Stannis. Right, right. Renly, 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 Renly was Stannis. cut short too. You yeah, know, he was on a, he was on a mission. He had he had the men, he had the money. Man, really was smart. He too. was re- yeah, he, he was, was that, a good he, that's why he had to get got, got he got about a, he got about a dodge, bro. He <laughs> said, "Ned, let's take over the city." No. He, he said, "All right, I'm out." He was he was definitely on a that's why he got the axe like 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 uh was assassinated like on They a, got on, him out of there. Right. They got him out of there. Not bro. on the battlefield type stuff. No. Cuz that fool was ready. He had 100,000 men. He was ready. He, he was had, ready. I think he had 100,000 And he was men. the younger brother too. He was ready. He had Brienne. He, yeah, and she was loyal had, to him. He had he had a uh, Taos Tyrell backing him. Yep, he, High Garden. What's her name? Was there Marjorie? Was Marjorie really, was his promise? Right, man. He had it all. He was, he, but he, he wasn't the rightful heir. Well, but yeah, that there is that. But he was he was gonna take out uh, Stannis, bro. Yeah, I know. Because he <clears> was <throat> he, he was definitely he definitely had the the the, the he power. Had the, he, had the, he had the numbers. I yeah, hey, but still, he he had the he had the he had the numbers. He had the backing. Yeah, he had it all. Yeah, you know. But, we saw uh, that how that worked out. Brienne, we're introduced to Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. Served up, uh, 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 what's his name? Loris. Loris. Served Loris Served up. Him up. <coughs> Got on her knee. She too became, easy. An, that she was became too easy a for her. King's that Guard. Was too easy for her. Queen's Guard. Then the best season of the show you gave us. It's, it's just when we think it can't get any worse or better. Right. You hit us with the almighty season four. Tyrion. You guys, Tyrion. Shines the most like that's what Shay, his ultimate shine. Tyrion, Tywin, Cersei, all politics, Jamie, bro. All Olena, politics. All politics. so many political moves all took place. Politics. Dorne, Oberyn, remember, the Mountain. Remember all of that stuff. There were no big battles. 
It was just oh, politics. But, no, yeah, it was no, fights. Yeah, it was yeah, fights, yeah, yeah, but yeah, there yeah, were no yeah. big battles. There no, were no clashing no, of no, armies. No, no, war. No war. Yeah, it was just all politics that made it so good. It was a great drama. Yeah. It was a great political, thrilling drama. And it was wrapped inside this this fantasy medieval. Yeah. You didn't even care. Yeah. You didn't care. You didn't, I mean, you know, I'm into that, but some people weren't into it, but they look right past that. Tyrion sending his niece off to Dorne and Cersei telling Tywin, I'll tell him my secret about me and Jaime. What? Yeah, me and my brother been sexing for a long time. You knew. You knew. Him out, him and Olena going at battles with one another. Sansa being tortured by Joffrey. The will of Joffrey. Joffrey didn't want no vag. That shit was weird. Yeah, man. That's when I, I, his, I mean, he was always crazy. But. The death of Joffrey. The rise of it. Trash Tommen. <laughs> The beginning of the Terrible. freaking Terrible. bastard. But Terrible. season four had it all, man. Varys, Littlefinger. Yeah. Uh, uh, to see Tyrion go through that trial, man, was... was and that's else. after he saved them. I saved you. <laughs> I saved you all. I could have left you all to die yeah. some, some. Yeah, yeah. That speech was epic. Yeah. He was I mad. Would gladly give he my was, life he to was definitely to mad if... It. He was mad yes. if... <laughs> yes. Mad at Mo. <laughs> yeah, he was mad. They're, they're ungrateful people, man. They are. They the, are. The, the citizens of King's Landing are trash. They are. So what they're they did fools. to Cersei? I did. Bruh. And what they were going to do to Marjorie. And queen. they call her their queen after that. These people yeah. sick and disgusted. Yeah, they, they sh what happened to them, they should have burned. <laughs> Minus the children. <laughs> Season oh, four, geez. the greatest you gave it to us, HBO. You gave it to us. Thank you, George Martin, with your books. Yeah. So then season five hit. The worst season. You followed uh, up the greatest season with the worst season, in well, my opinion. To, 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 again, I keep saying it. Even a worse season. High. Of, Went too high, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Bring the, the fall, the fall. The fall season. was huge. Right, like right but now. But even the huge fall of season five was still a pretty good Right, still top notch. We, we, were, we, exactly. we were there in the exactly. mindset of greatness. Exactly. That's why. And we were getting good. Not great. Yeah. Season, so, season four was the rise of Marine with Khaleesi. She already done took man. over Astapor, Young Kai. It's just too Freed much. all the it slaves. Too much. Took over Marine, unified Marine, making her claim. And there were more political stuff over there, too, when she was Lots of political things over there. The, Jorah. The, the slave master's son. All that yeah, stuff. Jorah man. catching Grayscale. Season five hits. We got the Night's Watch. He's Lord Commander now, Jon Snow. Right, right. He's over there fighting the dead, doing his thing, and people are dying. Bil Khaleesi's on Marine, trying to figure out what it means to lead a city of Bil Billions. Building up a promised villain with with John because remember uh, coming up coming off of uh, season one when that White Walker cut off old boy's head and tossed it and the the kid became the uh, the 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 what you call it the deserter when they yeah. cut his head yeah, off yeah. we they took a break from the White Walkers a gap from him and oh, then we, yeah. we we saw him but in in pockets yeah and then then when John started doing his thing yeah. they started to become more season apparent. five they were so they really right they were building that that menacing threat like yeah. don't don't y'all forget about this because yeah. you know that that's how the show started yeah. it was like oh yeah you're right like beautiful beautiful yeah the so, wall was salt and pepper throughout the show but yeah. season five was the it's wall beautiful. was the Night's nice watch was the White Walkers was right the, the and white. you could you imagine that how the writing was so good that you made me. You made me care about politics with Ned. You made me care, care about politics with uh, uh, Joffrey and him being king and, and, and Tyrion and all that stuff and Rob. And then you shifted on me yeah. and told me there's a menacing evil. Like, literally, these things are just inhuman and they're out to kill everything. And you shift my perspective. And I was ready. Be honest, that's the least amount. That's the least thing that I was really attached to. Once they went White Walkers and the, the dead, well, I, I wasn't attached. That was my to it. least favorite thing. I wasn't attached to it, but it, they but I was still getting. They, they shift my perspective. Yeah. To thinking that there's a threat besides what we're used to, which which we knew, but they were peppering it in, and that was amazing to me how they shift that. Okay. Because because you, uh, what I'm what I'm what I'm what I'm really getting to also is that. John wasn't a character, you know, like the rest of the characters we named. Like, he was a throwaway, throwing him away to the wall and all that stuff. But then, slowly, they were making him the the, the shining uh, light for this new villain, yeah, which is that. the White Walkers. I've seen that coming. I mean, well, well, of course, cool. it's 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 a build-up. And then he with the White Walkers, White Walkers. It, White you know. Walkers. Right. But I'm just saying, it, 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 it's, it, it's amazing. It's amazing how they just... They let you not care about somebody and then care about them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, I hated Jamie fully when he pushed the kid out the window. And then 
as much as I didn't forgive Jamie, I didn't hate Jamie as much when he was doing his little Brienne journey. His redemption mission. Right, when he had the one arm, he saved her from the bear and all that stuff. And, you know, gave her his sword and all that stuff. I didn't really hate Jamie then. Yeah. I just didn't forgive him. You know, it was amazing how they did that stuff. Uh, we also had um, Stannis. This was about Stannis and the Red Woman, the Lord of the Light. Uh, Beric, we've seen some of him. And you really get to understand, you hear about all these gods. The, the, the Lord of the Light, the God of Death. The Many-Faced The many face God, the Woodward, Woodward Tree God. The old gods and the new. New gods. All it's it's clear gods. now that the Lord of the Light was the one. He's that guy. He's the only active. You, you got dang straight. <laughs> only so active guy. Season 5 gave us still something that was nothing. The worst thing about Season 5 was the Sept of Baelor, uh, the, the, the High Sparrow. Freak him and the religion. Then we get to season six. Now, season six is important, HBO, because you guys had to kind of go off on your own with D.B. Weiss and David Benioff. These are the two writers that decided to take over the show after George R. R. Martin's books no longer had uh, anything to carry with the show anymore. Season five was George R. R. Martin, and then season six, seven, and eight is D.B. Weiss and David Benioff. D and D, let's call them for short. D and D. So D and D took over season six. I was a little bit worried because a lot of people in my comment section were like, "Man, these are not like the books, y'all. They gonna mess up." Season six was solid, bro. Solid season six. It was a little bit slow in the beginning. Then we got the Battle of the Bastards, season six, episode nine. Then we got the Winds of Winter, season six, episode which, ten, where she blew up the Septon. Which season was the? Tommy dropped down and killed himself. Bruh, epic moments in season six you hit me with. Blow, blowing up the, that blowing up that shit was different. That was epic. That was that was it. really, really that's when Cersei Shame. when when Cersei, Shame. when Cersei's demons started to come out. Yeah, drinking that wine, looking at the sept on fire with the wildfire. The the awesome amazing did score. Did she cry for that boy? I don't think did she for, shed a tear? For who? For Tommen. Man, she said, bury that fool in a sept <laughs> with his ashes and his homies. Freak him. She didn't give a freak about Tommen. Freak this motherfucker. Season six was epic. I'm like, yeah, we're doing great. Then at this point, my reactions were live. I was popping on YouTube. Right. And everybody was loving the we, duo that we bring. Yeah, we were willing to accept where it was going because it was just it's still good. It was still good. We waited a year and a half for season seven. It was still good. We waited a year, like a little over a year, for season seven to hit. Seven was the. It wasn't seven where the seven was a lag off. Where where was the one where uh, what was that when 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 the when the hound. Came back when he was with the with the with the people. Six, with the brothers without banners. Yeah, that was season six, beginning of season I'm, six. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get back to that. That was early season six where I said it was slow. Yeah, yeah, but I'm gonna get back to that. It's not. I'm not judging that for just that. Well, where he rolled with the Lord of Light. And right. Stuff. I'm, yeah. I'm 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 contrasting that to where we are now. So I'll get back to that. Right. <laughs> right. So season seven finally hits, and the, the excitement is through the roof. HBO. We were ready. Game of Thrones. D and D, and it was. Rushed, very rushed, it, and that was weird to me. It was, but but they did it did pay off in the end because it felt like <clears throat> it felt like they were rushing it to because Khaleesi had her forces and she had to get across the sea. Right, you know, she touches down. Season seven, episode right. one, Dragonstone. Right, with the Unsullied, the Dothraki. Right, uh, with uh, the Second Sons. She had some second sons? She had some with her, I think. She, she did? Had, I thought she some. left. The... I don't think she left all of them. You think she probably had some with her. Probably. She had to have some with her. Some horses with the Dornish army. She was massive. She was huge. She had three uh, dragons. The, Ur the Uric three dragons. Uh, 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 what's the stupid idiot's name? Euron. Not Euron. I'm saying Euron. But the eunuch. What's his name? Varys. Lord Varys. He pledged his life to her. Seen her, her heart, how good it is. Served her well in Marine for two seasons, five and six. Right. Now he's here in seven. He was, and he was serving terrible. her he was then. Looking at her good works. And yes, shit. he was seen, witnessed all of her good works, and also, and he, he said, you know, what I'm saying, if Khaleesi had questioned his loyalty, he was like, you're the one who sent the letter to Jorah. You're the one who sent the sparrows to get me killed. You served King Robert. How many kings? You're a king hopper. Right. If you want blind loyalty, have Grey Worm behead me or have your dragons devour me. But if you let me live, I will serve you well. But not because you're the rightful queen, but because I choose you. 
He let her know how he felt about her, knew that she had a good heart and she was goodwilled, and we were okay with it. Because he, she, she, he was saying all that because it was proven it was, by her it was, works. It was, it's what proof. she had done for people. Correct. Across the Correct. sea, and shit. Correct. Uh-huh. So I, I'm like, DB, D and D. I see where you taking it. All right, I feel it. It's a little rushed for me. Something, yeah, it was sped up, but something that would take five episodes took one. It was sped up for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot, of, a lot of time hopping. And it was, it was, it was, it was, it was the first notice in dip of quality in writing that I noticed. Tyrion's character, for the most part, took yeah, the hugest he, dip. He got the hit. He I, got hit hard. I was really disappointed with how Tyrion's character. He was. got me, hit hard. Me and you disagreed on that. I really I, hated how his I, character was being portrayed. I, I hated his strategy. I hated his battle plan. I hated all of that. But I, <sighs> I award him the mistakes. Do you get what I'm saying? Because he wasn't trying to remember what the old girl said. Foreigners. Remember what the old girl said, be a dragon, all that stuff? He yes. wasn't trying to conquer. He was trying to... That was a mistake. Right. But he was trying That's to why do it a diplomatic way. Yeah, right? and, and it was the wrong way. And and, and 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 looking at it now, it's true. Because wrong. if No, it's true that if... I kept saying it back then. If she just takes the, the army and the dragon... We won. Game! But then, yeah. the what do you... What, what, that's it. Then you're back with Jon Snow and you help him fight the Night King. Right, but I'm saying there's no with the Lannister army. There's no there's no uh there's no uh there's no real real uh what you call it, political, diplomatic, anything. What we came to know and love. It was just gonna be a mo over. There wasn't really any political, diplomatic anything in season seven, though. They had the meetup no, and that was it. No, they but they had she was trying to do it, but it was flank remember because Cersei was attacking her. Exactly. Cons- consistently. It was no political diplomatic was, anything. It was, was her try- getting wrecked. She was trying to do it. She though. was losing. She was trying to do it, but she kept getting poked at. Getting poked at. So. Looking back, I think it's I'm shocked that you don't agree that she should have just did what Elena did and just burnt Cersei at the Red Keep. No, no, no. I, I, I fully aware. I'm fully aware that that's what she should have done from a from a decision making standpoint. Oh, okay. But from a show standpoint, I get what, what they two. were tr- what they were trying to do in show two. You in, still want it that way? No, it, it 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 make you can have it that way and make it still good. Where you're saying characters are making mistakes and they're paying for them. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I see what they were trying to do okay. because you can't mow over Cersei, otherwise she's dead. But all of what I'm saying yes, is... Yes, you com- do mow over Cersei wait, because wait, how she died... Wait, wait, wait. Was trash! Stop, oh, stop. Wait, wait, wait. See, that's, that's, yeah, that's, oh, that's what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is comes to a head later now. <coughs> it, it becomes pointless. Yes, so, yes, you know, yes. So. Yeah. so yes, you should have just mowed over Cersei and burnt her in the Red Keep. Yes, you should have. Well, we're talking Season about Season 7, show, the, the spoils about. of war, where Khaleesi finally became a dragon. And a little she bit. she burned the Lannister army... Was the first time she's ever attacked uh, anyone in Westeros, and it was glorious. A little bit. That's by far the the best episode in the entire show. The thing about season seven is it's really polarizing. It has some of the best, most epic moments, and some of the worst writing. So it's kind of like this. So, and I always made a prediction after season seven was over, and we saw that beautiful moment where Rhaegar, played by Viserion, Viserion playing Rhaegar, had that moment where they were getting married, father, mother. It was beautiful. We shed our tears. We cried. It was amazing. When season seven ended, I had a prediction and a theory that when season eight comes two years later, (laughs) we would be divided. Me too. It would be polarizing. I believe the people who love season seven would also love season eight. I believe the people who had problems with season seven would probably have tremendous problems with season eight. And it looks like I was right because season eight arrived and we got the first two slow episodes of nothing but reuniting. Which was that was still okay by me, but uh, looking looking at it now, it was epic. But <laughs> by but for me for me, uh, my expectations for season uh, eight was terrible. I, I was completely off. Yeah, I thought that we were gonna because I, get right to it. I was on. I was, we got a first episode war. I was on. I was I was going off credit though. Right. I was going off the show credit. I was like, some people are because it's an amazing show, and even with subpar shows, you get. It ends, and some people like it, some people hate it, because it's the ending. You can't please every single person. Right. So I figured, this is Game of Thrones. Some shit about to happen that we're not going to be okay with, and we're going to hate that, but we're, we're going to love it because it's Game of Thrones. But we're going to be divided in, you know, I, I wanted my character to live, or I wanted this character to live, or I wanted this one to die, and this one to die. But we would still be loving the show, but mm-hmm. we would be divided on the decisions that were made, but still loving it. You get know what I'm saying? And That's what I thought was going to happen. Instead. Instead. We, we were all united in our hate. Right. It show. seems like everybody's. So I was completely wrong about what 
that was going to happen. I just, HBO, you decided, you offered DB and D and D ten episodes. You offered to pay them. They said no. They want to do these six and go on to Star Wars. So you greedy sons of bitches decided to rush a script for six episodes and kill Jorah. This show died with Jorah. Episode three. Jorah's death was the end of characters that we knew and love. Number one, Khaleesi. It, I mean, John been dead for a while too. John entire season eight, trash. Yeah. His, who he is in, in his entire run of season eight is just trash. He, he he's been dead for a while, but now that now that we have all of this, it's safe because now you can look back on what was before it and what the buildup was. Yes, John has been a damsel. In season so he's eight. he's but his whole his whole arc till now turns him into a dud. A dud with the thickest plot armor. Next completely to completely useless. And except my, for saving him until the end, when we know in season episode six he's going to be epic. With his thick plot. Not even epic. Uh, there's nothing. There's oh, nothing. He's going to do something epic. There, doesn't matter what you do at this point. He's going to kill Khaleesi. Still not, again, still not epic enough. That's, it, is, it is for the Jon Snow that's fans. Not for, I'm a huge Jon Snow fan. Fan that's, that's, that's That's killing him. Yeah. That's killing his character. Yeah, so yeah. it's yeah. just, there's nothing you can do to save. His character's turned into a dud based on what happened. Yeah. Jorah's character's been trashed through the mud now because you, everything you're trashing stands, to kill him everything he stood for but I'm looking at it going back because if you look at what happened and then you're looking at the, the resolution it's like he charged all of the Dothraki into darkness with no enemies in sight yes. every everything everything that he stood for becomes trash now yes everything yes despite his actions they had to kill him so 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 if they didn't kill him it would have been even <laughs> worse it would have been even worse on his character because at this stage, his character is still, you know, he's still Jorah. That means you. That means they would have written Khaleesi not to listen to him. You're no, not even so. They, I believe, they would have had him okay with what Khaleesi's doing because he follows his Khaleesi, and that would have wrecked him even more. You get what I'm saying? Don't say that. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Don't say that. It's true. It's true. It would have. It's best that he died. I think he needed to live in order to save Khaleesi. No, but you're still, dying... you're still you're still thinking the character is still the character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because but the way they write the characters now, true. they're not the same character. True. That's so, true. That's true. you know, they would have wrecked you. That's it foolish was... of me to think that. You're right. You're right. I've been you're very right. foolish right. in this regard. Then episode four hit, and you gave us the worst sh show episode we have ever seen in our in my history. That was the worst episode in the history of the show. Let me let me. <coughs> to, uh, where where Rhaegal died. That, that's nowhere, not the, that's the not perfect the worst. accuracy. That's not, not for me, but yeah. What is the worst episode to you? The last episode, the, the one that just aired. That I is, I that is we, we're, we didn't even see that yet. We didn't get no, that no, yet. no, no, no. The, the one that... We're on episode four. No, we're on a, uh, episode five. We're, 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 as far as the chronological order that we're oh, talking to okay, the subscribers, okay. we're on episode four. Yeah, yeah, okay, then yes. So then yes. episode four yes. was the worst freaking episode yes, yes. up until that point. Yes, I can't. You wrecked our shit. I can't disagree with you. We hated everything about it. Yeah. It How are you characteristic everybody was? It's almost like the writers didn't like the show no more. Right. It's almost that way. It's almost as if they hate us. <laughs> I think they hate us. Cause here comes episode five. You're up. Yeah, that's but hands down the worst, the worst, worst episode. episode ever to date. Period. We're not there on Sunday for episode six. Period. Yeah. Episode five. That season episode. eight. The that, worst. That episode not only killed all episodes and seasons it, after it, it the whole killed show. the future episode, which is the new one. Don't care. The BBS of Game of Thrones. Yes. Yes. That is it. The BBS of that Game of Thrones. That episode right there was the dagger in all of our hearts. Nail in the coffin, baby. You like Jamie? Freak <sighs> him. Throw him down the so toilet. He's your true villain? You like that? Oh, 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 the, the, the mountain and the hound go. Oh! Freak that shit. <laughs> all his incredible survivability? Right. <sighs> Shove that in your face. What is he doing in there? Tyrion walking through the back. What is he doing? Hey, Freak him. <laughs> Khaleesi, you do. Oh, Spit Khaleesi. You like Khaleesi? Completely you different like character. You like Daenerys Stormborn? Completely different character. The end bet. You like Masande? Freak her. Freak every... Uh, Mad uh, Grey Worm. Queen. Freak him. Mad Queen. John. Bro. Freak John. Everybody Burn got them freak. all. Freak the whole episode. Except uh, the stars. Uh, uh, Kyburn. Kyber, that was awesome, by the way. That was whack, though. It was, <laughs> that was 
That was I keep saying it. Sorry, USA, but that was some USA shit. Yeah, it bro. really was. That shit was terrible. It's it awful. was like it was like here's a character you've been watching and following him and looking at his deceit and lies yeah. for all this time, yeah. and he's in the way. <sighs> <laughs> really? Like, Are you serious? It's like they sat at a round table and decided how do we trash these characters to the worst parts imaginable. And they came up with episode five. And the before we can because we're at the end point. Don't now. get me started on Euron. Uh, I'm the man who can't Like that's supposed to mean something. And what was that fight about? That the weakest fight I have ever seen, the, including Ramsey on the beach season seven. As much as I'm hating on, including a uh, reek. As much as I'm hating on all of this, I, I, I gotta give props. You're not hating on it. I'm not hating on it. I hate it. Right, it's but a I, have to, I have to. I hate it. I have to give props. I have to give props where it's due. Uh, uh, the writing is terrible. Oh, but 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 uh, 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 directing the, sh the 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 episode and the sh how it was shot. How it beautiful, looked. beautiful. Yeah. The actress, beautiful garbage. Da Daenerys portraying she's mad and evil. Beautiful. Everybody's doing a stellar job with Man. the shit script. Have you ever seen a chocolate cake where the chocolate <laughs> wasn't chocolate? It was caca. Every, Beautiful chocolate cake. Everybody did a good job. Like trashing themselves. Yeah. I, I have to give them props, bro. You have to give them props. They took a shitty script and they owned it. They owned it, bro. They owned it. The the the, the CGI. The dragon fly, destroying it. Bro, they own that shit. They... They said whoever whoever was in those like CGI guys sitting in front of the computer, they probably this is Game of Thrones. I'm on my A game, <laughs> just fixing that garbage yeah. to make it look good. It was beautiful, man. It was even Cersei looking out the tower. That look on her face, beautiful acting. I, I can't hate on anybody really. Beautiful acting, I don't know. I don't know. It, it was acting great. Was trash. It was it was great. It was acting great. was trash. Acting acting was good. Acting was trash. They weren't even being themselves, so it was trash to me. Well, you know you can't. You, but they uh, did a good job. Cersei good crying. Job. What a die. I don't know about her crying. I don't, I don't know about her crying. Die. I don't My know about, baby. What I, the I don't know freak? About you made her look human. Yeah, but you're judging. You're judging. We've been waiting years not to 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 to. to not to wait for her to die. We knew that was going to happen. That. I know we wanted to see how the bitch was going to die. What evil concoctions did these right. writers write up that will satisfy our bloodthirst to see Cersei in as well, much we agony now. as we possible know we know and what, you made her go we, out we with, know. The, with the second best death next to Jorah. We know what evil concoction they cooked. <laughs> A romantic stare down with her and her brother getting collapsed by rubble. Architectural failure. Kill after Cersei. you, after you, you, you let, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, that Bolton, Ramsey, Ramsey. You, you let him bash out, uh, Sansa, and just all up in her butt, like she deserved this. This, and you do this to Cersei. I don't think that the rest of the Game of Thrones fans that are watching us right now know how important this moment is in history. This will be, do you remember how huge the ending for The Sopranos was? The black screen? I haven't seen it. The infamous black screen. You, I, I didn't it. see it, but I saw it all over the news and pop culture. Everyone was talking about it. Sopranos season finale was trash. Oh my God, it just went black screen. Everybody was talking about The Sopranos ending. Fuck. And everybody was upset about that HBO show ending. Oh, okay. That was HBO too? It was HBO. Hey, hey. I don't think that you guys understand where we are in history. This is about to be the worst ending for a TV show in the history of TV shows. Of course. Ever. Because this is the this is the this is the, the granddaddy. This, this is, is the, the greatest show. Yeah. This is the biggest fall from grace in television Hell yeah. history. Hell yeah. This is the greatest show becoming the worst show in one season. This is the, this is unprecedented. It is because this We is, will be talking about this for 50 years. This is the only show that I can say stands up with motion pictures. Yes. It stands up with it. It's like motion there pictures. There will be college classes taught. On how to not, not Game to of Thrones. Shit. Don't Game Don't of Thrones do season eight yourself. Don't do it. DB Weiss and Benioff are going to be pariahs. They're going to be taught in schools how not to ruin. Don't ever make this one on one. Don't ever do this. I don't. This is how to butcher that, a show. I don't show. think that's gonna come later, though. I don't think. Yeah, it, I said for fifty years. Yeah, because we're talking about this for fifty years. Because old because, and gray. because the impact. We're dead. The impact. You know how Hollywood is. The impact is not gonna hit them like. Oh, that. it's gonna hit. No, right now because now 
people are still going to tune in. Oh, yeah. Because it's the part. And that's all they look at. Who, how many is tuning in? That's all they'll look at. They'll look uh -huh. at that. Uh -huh. And that's never going to change after we tune in. Yeah, it is. That's not, it, the, uh, they plan on releasing prequels. That, like I said, but, but the Game of Thrones right now as it stands. Right. So, so the failure, like you're saying, what not to do, that's going to take a while. Because based on their success, this so. is what they're supposed to do. It's already happening, Coach. I hope it does, it's because this happening. is terrible. This There's is videos terrible. across YouTube who are finally understanding the trash writing that this show that we've seen, in, well, that I've seen in season seven. They're finally starting to catch wind of what's going on. And thank you, Game of Thrones, so very much for destroying our hopes and passions. Predictions for episode six finale code, the worst episode ever. You're going to give us three back-to-back -back record breakers. Right. Episode four, the worst ever. Yeah. No, it ain't. It's Here's incredible. episode five. That's the worst ever. It oh, no, it ain't. Episode six, that's the worst ever. It gets worse and worse. It's like the closer we come to the end, the worse it gets. I am thankful for the seasons that I've gotten. Yeah, me uh, too. No doubt. No doubt. You know what? Season four is the climax of this show. I, I was agreeing. I was disagreeing with you way back. It's well, not disagree. Peak. I never really disagreed, but I was like, I gotta go back. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. At Season this point, at this so point, good. at this point, I can't. I can't even because we're at the end now. So now, and if this is all we've got, what's the best season? It's gotta be four. It's, it's four. It's man. gotta be four. Four. And it's not only four because four was good. It's four because it 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 it, it did a ladder. No no pun intended to the yeah, show, right, but right, right. it was like one good, two good, oh. three good. Four and after good. four, what happened? And then. And I mean, now Can't that I have the complete package, yeah, and I do have the trust me when I tell you I got the complete package. I know it's not over. I got the complete package. <laughs> I got the complete package in episode four. I got the complete when package. When Jor died, I got the complete package. Okay, look. It's over. Season, season eight is the worst season. By far. Easy. I don't care about the first episode that were okay. Right, right. That right. Were, those were good setups to greatness. But failure because you didn't execute. So Correct. this is by far the worst uh, season. Correct. The last season, the most important season, is the worst season. That was crazy. I don't know how that works. But so those of you fanboys who still don't understand the show is trash now, freak you. Yeah, it's uh, definitely. Garbage. Thumbs down this video and move the freak on. You trash, <laughs> retarded fanboy. I, I, freak I, off I, my channel. I, these are for the people who have sense and actually understand I mean, this show. I mean, I, and understand that these characters have been a certain type of way. I understand the difference in opinion, but I can't. I do see, too. I can't see how you could. But come down. You, I can't see how you could say this is a good right. season and these are good episodes and right. these did not ruin right. the show. Right. You cannot debate I, me with right. This I don't show. see. I don't you. see how that's possible. They, it's not. But I, they. I but I don't see how it's possible. It's I mean, I can see. I can see what some people would fanboys, say. Fanboys, bro. I the power see. of a fanboy is incredible. I can see what some people would. It's say. like Dragon Fire. Some people would say that okay, you're not happy where your character's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, to counter that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Jon Snow, and Jon Snow seems to be fine uh, uh, in terms of what's happening to right, him. Right, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, he's still he's still honorable, yeah. and I love that about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the stupid decision he made while being honorable is it was, terrible. It wasn't stupid. It was awesome. So so I'm supposed to love the fact that he's still being honorable yes. when he's making a stupid decision. I'm sorry. Yes, if so, you're a fan, you would. Right. Yes. So that's that's my that's my counter to saying. If you're gonna say that I'm only hating on it because the characters aren't my yeah. characters aren't shining. Yeah. Well John is shining like a mofo when yeah. I don't like it. And that's you know because you're not a fan. <laughs> you know that's saying? because you're not it's retarded. That's because you're not a fan. <laughs> it's retarded. You're not a fan of John Snow. You know, because I know a lot of people will say Khaleesi. And they did they did say Khaleesi's oh, a bad queen right. in season one. Right, right. You're you're just mad because Khaleesi goes went mad and yeah yeah you're just mad. I've go, been well, that's not I why saw I'm a long mad. time ago. That's not why I'm mad. We're mad because you showed Tracy for six seven seasons of her being awesome and good. Right. You didn't show any madness. Where's the madness? Right. Now you got to pay attention. You weren't looking. Clearly, right, clearly, right. clearly. <laughs> well, oh, it's there's no arguing it. Fanboys, it's, it's just are terrible. AIDS. It's terrible. Fanboys are stage five cancer. Why couldn't Why couldn't you let her sh burn some some slaves and stuff in in Marine and had some some of her advisors stop her? You know, build build up to this craziness. <coughs> you know, if unchecked, this is what she would do. <coughs> well, something, but because uh, clearly we don't have enough time for that. You got to really finish. Wow, strong. you remember you remember you remember the same uh, uh, season when uh, we kept saying that. Well, I kept saying it. Mad, somebody brings up Mad Queen. Oh, no time for that. There's no time for that. Yes. That's logical thinking. There's no time to build that. I take a strong stand. That's crazy. And I don't know if Coda's with me or not. I'm about to leave this show. It's over. 
I will watch the prequels because it's going to be written by someone else. Well, I'll watch the prequels. But I want to say something. Where are you going? Capital Muddle Freaking Middle Finger to you fanboys. You fanboys who accept this and promote this and root it like it's awesome. If you're retarded, I forgive you. If you're slow in any sense of the the way, I, it's okay. I'm not talking about you. Those of you who consider yourselves intellectuals or fans of this show, and you accept and defend this shit, I rebuke you. I disrespect you incredibly. I ain't nothing like you. I'm a fan. You're a fanboy. I don't see you're how. Cancer. I don't see how they. I don't want to have nothing though. to do with you. I don't, I don't have no ties to you whatsoever. You're not a real fan of this show. Y'all the reasons why this is trash. Let's be real though. If if those people couldn't have been fans of the show that we were seeing exactly because they wouldn't have liked it. They had to start liking it now. <laughs> because it's like Man of Steel. I like the Dark Superman. You stupid motherfucker. Because you never really watched Superman. You never watched yeah, you him. You can't be a fan. You of hated it. him when he was good. Yeah, you can't be a fan. I like this dark version. Right. I hate- Hey, that's a good point. Yeah. I say it all the time. Yeah. I don't like the original Superman. All I like, right. I like Man of Steel. I hate that he's all nice and right. good. Right. So, I, but I, what I can't say. God dang it, because he's nice and good, what motherfuckers. I, what, I, what I can't say is that I was a fan of the original Superman, and this one's awesome, and you don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't make sense to me. So, you know what I'm saying? I want you to watch this video. Look at me. Look in my freaking <laughs> eyes. It's probably the last thing you're ever going to see. <laughs> Whoa, God dang it. But that is bad. You listen to me. I know you hate me. I know it. Most of you guys are in the Middle East. Can't wait to freaking come and send me death threats. Oh, take Listen it up. easy. Relax. So the meat is what? Listen death up. Death threats. I get death threats, bro. You do? Kill yourself. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm sending a nuke nuclear. Listen to me. What? <laughs> Listen. Serious right now? The, the death threats. Listen to me. Shame on y'all, man. Shame. 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 Down free. Shame. Shame. <laughs> When it was good. <laughs> yeah, you guys hate the way this stuff is and the show is in chaos. But if you want to look at who's responsible, you need only look into a mirror. I know why you did it. Yeah, you were scared and all that. Yeah, but it's your fault. We've been done. Shout out. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. That's the code. I'm Jody Joe, man. Let's go in and celebrate this trash episode six. In the most glorious way possible. Boy, put that back. <laughs> That's the code. I'm Jody Joe. We have to stay. Deuces.